Hello and welcome to Testing Shastra. In this video, we are going to talk that how we can actually fail our test case deliberately. If you don't know about the basics of Cucumber, then I recommend you to please watch my previous video. The link of previous video will be available in the top right corner. Okay, so let us start. So in this video, we are going to talk about how we can deliberately fail our first scenario that we have written in the previous video. So to fail our scenario, what we need to do is we need to add some assertion in our step definition. So we have this last step over here. I'm going to add some assertion in this last step. So we have a matching step definition already written in add to cart Java uh, file. So in this, we have this step definition method and inside this method, I'm going to write some assertion. Now remember, we are using testng over here to execute our Cucumber. You can have JUnit also to execute your Cucumber because Cucumber requires some unit testing framework to execute. So I am using testng and in testng I have assert class. In JUnit also you have assert class which you can obviously use to fail or pass your test case or to assert some conditions. So here I am using assert class because all methods of assert class throws uh, some error okay assertion error okay that is a there is a class in test ng called as assertion error that class object is thrown by all of the methods if the certain criteria is not met or not matched in that case all methods of assert class throws error okay so let us use assert equal equals method over here and i'll deliberately write some string which will not obviously match okay now if i execute my scenario then you will see that this scenario will fail that's it so here we can see the java.lang.assertion error where it is saying that expected was high but found hello and if you observe over here then it is saying that cucumber is saying one scenario is failed Whereas three steps are passed and one step is failed. Okay, so it is correctly telling us that one step got an exception and due to which the scenario is failed. So in simple words, if you want to fail your scenario or pass your scenario, in that case, you need to write some assertion in your last step definition. So it is recommended to write assertion in a last step definition only because whatever checks we want to apply in our test case okay obviously that comes in the last step of our test case where we match the actual and expected results so while writing our scenario we have to add the last statement with some assertion and it will if the assertion doesn't matches or if the assertion doesn't executes correctly in that case our scenario will be marked as failed and it will appear in the report over here on in the console so that's it in this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.